So the main time, you know, like there is one assignment, you know, that I have also placed right in this folder. Would you like to try just try to open it and try to attend some questions? Is some the exercise one, and the data is also attached over here. So this is the exercise, and this is the data.
Even so, are you all trying this activity? So, I'll just give you a small assignment, right? Many of you might would have tried it. This, the, ex, uh, the exercise. No, you have already done this. Perfect. This is done. Nice. Change the numbers. Try to just change on this. You know, to change the numbers into thousands, like five point nine five thousand or something like that. So that will be better. Right on the numbers are looking too long. Rupa also have it. Okay. If the star is not visible, can you just check this out? This star is not visible at all. Mm. Not able to see it, Shurpa, on this. On entire view, also, if I see it's not there. This looks good. Upper mold. Right, so here are the filters. We can do it. We have top end. Perfect formatting is also good. Just this number is good as we can change it. So, but actually, in this case, now what is was required was it was a cross tab. Right, so what Gauri Shankar did now that is the kind of a chart that you should be creating. So, cross tab is basically this you know, like one in the rows. And other in the columns. That's a cross tab. Okay, the region should come in the columns. So you right now would have kept both the things in the rows. One will come in the rows, one will come in the columns, and the values will come there. Okay. Yes. Yep. So I'll give you all five minutes, right? So please, the people are not trying it. So do it. So we'll start then in five to seven minutes. I just want you all to brush up the things. So Karen, so on that Google Drive link, so I have kept the uh, exercise, exercise one with the data also in that. So I want you all to try that exercise.
So that is over here. And if you click on this analysis, Amul, you have totals. So this is where you can click on add all subtotals or overall totals. So that can be done. So on the Google Drive link, PPT is the exercise, and here is the sample data, is the data basically that needs to be used. Right, so this is sample data exercise one and tablet exercise one. Yeah, and all you're just trying to manage this back in two minutes, right? So many are just working on this.
You know, you can change these uh, numbers on the pie chart. That chart will be very loaded. You can change. You, uh, probably you can show the numbers again over here in the millions. Same thing over here, here. Right? This will also help. Right? Right now, if you take a look on these charts, these numbers are everywhere are very, very long. This is fine now. See, now the numbers are coming compact. The same thing should be applied over here as well. So, Sartre, that is what we are doing right now. Okay, see, in this, if I just do it quickly for all of you, right? And this is the first question says, plot a line chart to show the evolution of spend across the years. Right? So if I go over here, the data is loaded. Right? So in this case, if we see, if you come to the sheet one, right? So we have the year, you know, sometimes you will notice over here, small challenges can happen in the tableau, right? So like, for example, year, right? Year is numerical right and what you will notice is if you all would have taken a note of this it is come see dimensions always come in blue color and this is here coming in green color see it's a coming under dimensions but properties are coming as continuous so what you can do is you can drag it down and take it up so it will become a proper dimension so with that what happen is if you now bring the year over here and you bring the spend over here you will be able to see the evolution of spend, right? And we can change this into a line chart. <clears throat> so this is how you can achieve the first chart. Okay. 
coming to the question number two, right? It says plot a stack bar chart showing the spend by region across the years. So how we do this? We bring the year. We bring the spend, and you can put the region in the colors, right? So this is how you will get the second chart, right? So please try it all of you. Data is given over there with the name of exercise data one, sample data exercise one. <clears throat> okay now coming to the third third question plot a pie chart showing the region wise spend contribution right so if you come over here we have to make a pie chart now you have the region and you have over here spend And then what you can do is you can change it into a pie chart. So that's going to give you this. And what you'll do is you have to put the year in the filter. Right, so the filter is applied. Make sense? So Kasturi bigger in size as in uh, I didn't get a question. That is size. This way you can do it. Okay. So what's the uh, Prabhu, if I use quick filter table calculation for percent of putting are you talking about this? Like for example, if I come over here in this over here you are saying in this chart, suppose I put the spend on the label. So you have to show percent of total. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, basically this is what I was telling. So in your cases, the year would be coming up if you will check 
the air would be coming in the green color if you will hover it right so first you have to drag the region down and take it above then the 2009 will not Okay. <clears throat> See, if, to show the percentage, what you have to do is you pick up the spend, put it, put it on the label, and then percent of total, the quick table calculation. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> sheet two is this. You know the sheet two only that I was showing. This is the sheet two. You have to drag just here in the column, send in the rows, and region on the color. Filter. You have to drag this here in this. So this is the ear. Pick it up and put it in this. And you say use all. Apply and okay. The filter will come up, and then you can say show filter. Okay. So this is how the filter comes in. So whatsoever you you will select, the data will get filtered for that. To increase the width, you have to just click on the size. And you can increase and decrease the width. Okay. Now the next question says, right? It is over here. It is saying create a, you know, a calculated field material type using the variable resin type, and categorize that into three categories. Right. So if you will take a look over here on this, let's go to the data source. Right. So in the data source, you will see you have the information right. Like this is the resin type. So we basically have to categorize them into three things. That what does it say? That if it is HDPE bottle grade, you know, make keep it as HDPE bottle grade. If it is PET bottle grade, keep it as PET bottle grade. And every other resin type has to go into others. Right? This will stay. This will stay. others every item will go into others in that case so how do we do that see we will make a calculated field if condition so let's call it as material type i am going to say that if resin type is equals to htpe bottle grade right then keep the name as same htpe bottle grade right else if next condition resin type is equals to pet bottle grade then keep it as pet bottle grade right else others and end so this is how you write this condition now so please all of you take a note of this
ओके When you click on apply and okay, this field will be created. And if you want to check it, see, you will have now three items. And you can check in the data source also, right? Like if you will come over here, you will see that wherever it is HTTP bottle grid, it's same. But wherever it is multi layer, others, HTTP bottle grid is this, this is others. And where it is pet bottle grid, it's pet bottle grid. Correct? Right. <clears throat> now coming back to this, the next question over here, right? So it says use the above calculated field and brought a stacked bar chart. Same chart, right? The one that we have already created. So you bring the year in the columns, you bring the spend, and you bring the material type in the color. So you get the same chart now. See now everyone, I'll show you something very interesting on this chart. See if I put the spend on the label, right? If I put the spend on the label, right? And what we did was we changed this calculation to percent of total. Okay. So can anyone tell me how that percentage is getting calculated? Right, the percentage of all the years. That means this percentage that you see, this is the sales of this section divided by the overall total. Right, if you will add up all these numbers, that will come as 100%. But what if, if I want to see 100% for each bar, right, as in of the total sales that happened in 2010, what percentage happened for HDPE, what percentage happened for pet bottle and what percentage happened for others. Suppose that is something I want to see. So how will I do that? See, all if you will remember, like yesterday we learned, yesterday in the Pareto chart, we learned that how we can add a secondary calculation in the quick table, correct? If you right click on this and if you say quick table calculation, edit the, now this time edit the quick table, oh sorry. This time, edit the quick table calculation. See, what is happening is right now the calculation is happening across the table. Across means it's using all the data of this. If you will say down the table, down the table will actually do the 100% calculation for each bar. You see 100%, 100%, 100%. That is down the table, right? Down the table. Previously, it was across. So this way you will be able to get the 100% for each bar. Okay. <clears throat> then the question says create a cross tab of purchase commodity and region and add borders to the cross tab. Okay. So let's come over here and let's create this cross tab. So we have the region. You can keep it in the rows. You have purchase commodity. Keep it in the columns. Spend comes over here. So please create it.
got it uh yeah condition is over here So what we do now over here is this spend you know that we have you want to convert this into thousands or millions see right click on the spend say format okay right click on the spend and say format and over here you can click on the numbers and make it custom right and when you click on numbers custom you can change the display units to millions Right, if you want to show it in the millions, you want to show it in the thousands, you can do that. And you can control the decimal places as well. Okay. And you can make it entire view. So this chart is ready. So this is the sheet for. So right click on the sum of spend, right click on the sum of spend, this is where you will find the format. And now in this sheet, what we need to do is we have to apply the borders in this, right? So how to apply the borders? See, you know, if you have to do any formatting on the sheet, if you have to do any formatting on the sheet, just click on this format button format option right if you click on the format you will find all the options if you want to play with the font if you want to play with the alignment if you want to play with the borders so if you click on borders now right so you know you can actually apply the borders over here right so for example if you come in this cells you want to apply the borders and you can apply the colors see the borders come in right pane right you have this okay so this is where you can you want the row divider right you will have it over here right you want the column divider you have it over here right so this is how you will be able to get all these you know the options over here now so these are all the options for your borders now right rows right so you can have this okay and columns you can have the same thing over here like this so you can apply it and you know in these numbers also if you all will see Right, these numbers are something you know which you can show and you can align them in the center. See, change the alignment also of the numbers right now. If you click on this format, you click on alignment. Right now, if you want in the pane, you can keep it center align like this. Okay. So this is this is the way you will be able to do it. Right, the border option is over here as well. Okay. Now I'll repeat the sheet for right for all of you. So what I've done is you have to put the year into the columns. You have to put the spend into the rows. And you have to put the material type into the color. Okay. Yeah. 
then you what you do is you pick up the spend put it up on the label yeah this is this is. this was a condition that we had to create right and you want to show the number in the percentage you will show the quick table and percent of total so in that you know we have created the condition we are simply saying that if material type is equal to sorry if resin type is equal to right if resin type is equal to htp bottle grade right then what you do is you have to say that it is you have to showcase that only the uh, then just show the name as htp bottle grade right else if if the condition is false you check the next condition if the resin type is equal to pet bottle grade then it has to be pet bottle grade else others and right so this is how we have written the condition so i am saying that if this is equal to htp bottle grade then this else if resin type equal to this then this else others make sense all of you this condition and you can give it a name over here whatever name like the name we have to give is material type and you can give define the name over here in that case uh then we have with Uh, yes, Kashi. I just unmuted you. Please. Uh. Yeah, hello. Yeah, Kashi. Sir, I think that your voice is breaking. Sir, so seat seat number one and exercise number one. Ah. Uh. Second one is this. Uh, your exercise number what means whatever exercise you are doing this is the exercise one the first exercise we are doing up over here this is this is the one that we are doing this one uh, yes so can you please open yep uh, so seat one means plot a line chart to show this one right uh -huh. this is the question that you have done on the sheet and this is the second question that we are doing sheet two ha uh -huh. like this is how we are going in the sequence of the questions okay 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 sir okay
so now uh this is the sheet 5 now moving forward with that so now in this question you know we also have to add a parameter right we also have to add a parameter to select top and suppliers right so how do we do this so this much part is done right this much part is done so we have to add a parameter to this so how do we do that right so first we create the parameter and then where do we assign it right so what we do over here is if i come in this now we will have to assign and it assign it to filter perfect right so that is how we do it so in this case i hope this sheet you have all created it up any question on this how we have built it up over here this sheet Okay. See what we will do is we will come over here. We will say create parameter, right? We will call it as okay. See what we have done is when I have cross tab. See first of all we have to understand. See cross tab is a table where you have rows and columns. So over here in this rows we have kept the region, and in the columns we have kept purchase commodity. so you get all the region names over here and purchase commodities over here correct and then you pick up the spend and put it on the label in the text like you can just drag it over here or put it on the text also right make the chart entire view okay so now what we do over here is if you have to format this into thousands or millions right so this is now this is will this will be applied everywhere see understand if you will all would have understood that the things that we do for one chart they are common for every place right like for example even if you come on this chart on this chart or anywhere right if you want to convert right if you want to convert the spend anywhere into thousands or millions right click on that and you will say you know like a uh, format right and this window pane will open up on the left side so click on the numbers and numbers custom that you want to do a custom number formatting and change the display units to millions billions right thousands whatsoever you want you can pick that up so if i pick thousands the numbers get changed into thousands now and you can control the decimal place okay so material type can be created from this calculated field the calculated field that we created i think you probably might would have not uh, you know you have not given the name is it coming some calculation one do you see if you see any calculation one in your list so you have to just make that calculated field so by going to this calculated field that condition that we discussed about that condition will come in that that if this resin type equal to this then you pick this up then you have to apply the borders so you have to click on format borders right and from here you can start putting the borders now right like for the cells you want to put these put this borders so this is how you will get it right cells means each cell every box is a cell right you come down row dividers you can put and select the colors for the header also if you want so you can select and put this up 
and same thing gets applied for column as well and the color right right in the pane if you want as a whole right you can do it from here also right and headers so this way you will get the complete borders all across right if you want to add some colors in this you can do the formatting over here in the headers also something like this if you want right <clears throat> over here so when you are clicking on this format borders so you just click on this cell then pane then headers Got it, everyone? Right click on this and say format. So you will get this option of formatting in this, and from there you can add the shading. Uh, this is question number six. Question number six. So now what we will do is we will be adding a parameter to it, right? So let's move forward on this. So right click on the border, on the header. This is where you will get the format option. So then this dialog box will open up. Now what we do is we will add a parameter to it, right? So all of you now, please start getting a parameter. If you are doing something, please let me know. I'll wait. Okay. To create a parameter, you click on this. Hello, box will come up. See, please watch it. Then you all do it, right? Don't do it together. So in that case, the steps get smelled. So parameter name will be top n, and I will say I will keep it the data type as integers and allow all. That's it. Just click on OK then. Okay, so now please create it. Right, so once you get a parameter now, you can right click on that and you can just show parameter. So the parameter will come onto your screen. Right, 
then what the question says is we have to showcase this information for the top end suppliers this table should show me the data of top end suppliers right so top end means basically you know what we would like to do is we would like to if i select 25 so it should show me the data for the top 25 suppliers so how do i do that we will have to use filters right so to show the parameter right click on that parameter and say show parameters now what you do is if you pick up the suppliers and put in the filters so you will see the filter section will come in this and from this we will select top by field we have to show the top so not 10 but whatever we have in the parameters so that way it will always give me the data for the top end suppliers okay so please do it everyone okay so now if you see it's 1 if i make it 10 right if i make it 15 the numbers get updated according to that then everyone I mean, so what's the question, Koshik? I just repeated that. So you want me to how to show you how to create the parameter or show the parameter? Uh, 